Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov soft skill guide. In this video, we are going to be focusing on metabolism. And before we begin, I just want to mention that in this video, there are no exploits or glitches used to level up your metabolism. We only use in-game mechanics, and it's very quick and efficient to do. So, let's get started. Metabolism is one of the most important soft skills in Escape from Tarkov, and luckily, it is, in my opinion, the easiest one to level. Metabolism decreases your energy and hydration consumption. It decreases the rate that you'll lose soft skill points, which is really important. And it increases the effects of food and water. Um, I don't know if this works for the hot rod as well. For example, somebody with maximum metabolism drinks a hot rod, they're going to see some increased lootability and speed bonuses. I would love to test that down the road. I just can't answer that now. When you hit level 51, you lose the need to eat and drink in the raid entirely, which is insane. So when your stomach gets popped, you will no longer have to panic about dehydrating and dying. Now, whenever you um, actually do this, whenever this happens, your energy will eventually drain to zero. And when that happens, even if you're 51 uh, metabolism, you will be no longer uh, able to run in your raid. We have tested that. so. That is a little bit of a negative, but at least you're not dying. Um, and you eliminate the, the loss of skills completely, which is really important. That's why we focus on it sooner rather than later. Because whenever you are completing raids and doing tasks, completing them, dying, whatever, you're going to be slowly losing soft skill points. So that's why it's a good idea to level up your metabolism before focusing on your endurance and strength. Because during those long grinding processes to level up those skills, which we're gonna be covering in a separate video, metabolism is needed to make it very efficient. So after you level up your stress resistance, you focus on your metabolism, and then after metabolism is maxed, we're going to be focusing on the final skills. You gain metabolism experience whenever you consume food and water. There isn't any other way to do it. There are three methods that I'm going to be discussing in this video, leaving the most effective to last, starting with the most cost effective. So method number one, you eat and drink everything whenever you play and never actually focus on leveling the soft skill. So this is what I recommend for most people when they start the game. Just eat and drink all the food that you find whenever you're playing with your friends or completing your tasks. I leveled my metabolism to level 20 in the first week of the wipe, just eating things I found occasionally. And in fact, you know what? There's hundreds of times where I passed up eating food and just completely ignored it. So if you make an active effort to simply eat everything you find, you will eventually get to 51 metabolism after many hours of gameplay. Method number two, and this is farming food on the maps. This method is going to keep your money in your wallet and it's going to make you max metabolism faster than if you just played around and only ate what you find. So you want to find areas in the game that you can easily find food in every single raid. The idea is to hatch it to that location, consume all the food, and then leave the raid or die and repeat the process. From what I have found, the best map for this is woods, but after this guide, you might have to find your own locations. In the lumber camp, there are four residence buildings that you want to visit. You have the foreman's residence, which is off on its own near the shore. It has a filing cabinet, two jackets, a duffel bag, and food spawns all over the cabin. Loot that house and everything inside and move towards the three smaller residences closer to the lumber on the road. These three residences have so much food in them, a safe, two duffel bags, and a few jackets. A good thing to do is to not forget to loot the gold chains and the rare items that spawn in these areas. I've actually found a gas analyzer just recording for this method and a few gold chains. So it is actually a really good way of making money and leveling up your metabolism at the same time. Method number three is called money bags. And the reason why I'm calling this is because unless you're rich, you're going to run out of money doing this, but it's kind of worth it in my opinion because you can complete metabolism faster. You're gonna be buying food and a hell of a lot of it, and you're gonna be trying to go into a raid and consume all of it. 
So from what I've tested, the lunch boxes from Prapor seem to be the best value item that you can buy to make this happen. The items that have the highest food durability will give you the most experience. So the best being the MRE, but you don't want to eat these because they're required to trade in for the VSS Ventores. The idea is to fill a chest rig, backpack, and container with lunch boxes that you bought from Prapor and consume all of the food items whenever you join your raid. If you pair up this process with the woods uh, run that I just recommended before, you'll actually eat the food in your bags, run to the residences, eat all the food there, and make your escape. Whatever method you use, it really doesn't matter. The more high quality food items you eat, the faster that you'll get to level 51. It's just that simple. One more thing I want to mention with both of these methods here, you're actually also going to be leveling up your endurance during this process. Rushing to the residences on woods is going to give you some nice endurance and health experience. You could also pair this up when making your character overweight for strength training, but that's going to be for another video coming very soon, and I know that a lot of you guys want this to happen. Well guys, I hope this gave you some insight on how to level your metabolism. Not that difficult, especially if you got a lot of money at your fingertips. I hope to see you guys in some raids, and trust me guys, once you start the process of leveling up your strength and endurance, you're going to thank yourself for having your metabolism skill maxed before you started. You're going to lose out on a lot of valuable experience if you don't do that already. Have a good one guys, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.